Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. That's right, just in time, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. Do you recall last week? Did you watch last week? I showed you the, the, the knives that I received. These. I've been practicing. Check this out. So I found that the knives are really light. They, they work great when you're close up. And uh, I've kind of, I've been working with these just about every day. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not ever gonna be a, a professional because of the nerve stuff in my hands, but I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Uh, and with that in mind, I reached out looking for other things to throw. And the gift that I gave my daughter for her Christmas present got me really excited. And so I decided I need to show y'all this. Which is the Weising Tomahawks. A set of three. Comes with some, I guess this is tape for you to wrap the handles. And I've been, I've been, pra I've been practicing. You can see, I've been practicing. So these, these are... They're quite sharp. They come apart. That's it's heavy. So throwing an axe is a little different than throwing the knives. Why I like these is all the weight is pretty much right here. And so if you're going to use it in a defensive capacity just throwing this thing at somebody is going to hurt. Uh, but more importantly, throwing it at the target, it's lots of fun. Let's see if I can, if I can stick one or two. throwing tomahawks so those are fun I'm actually gonna be taking those to Dillo days our upcoming YouTube gathering first weekend of February Lake Whitney State Park that Saturday we're gonna be throwing axes I had another vendor send me something that I'm also really excited about and it fits perfect with the tomahawks these are the new and improved hex 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 ho jex joe these are throwing knives and they're substantially larger heavier it's made out of quarter inch steel lots of weight to them so in knife throwing you have a, a couple of different ways of a couple of different ways of throwing one is no spin that's where you're just throwing and it flies through there and sticks doing these with no spin i can get out about 12 feet and then they're, they're just so light that being accurate with them becomes a challenge then there's the the half spin the military half spin that's where you hold the blade you throw it it spins half and sticks I can do a, a half spin with this, and that's really 
to get distance that's I'm having to throw these and then you have a full spin which is where you you throw the knife and you have to get a full rotation and then you have a double spin that means it has to spin twice before it sticks I don't know if I'll ever get that accurate but let's see how well these throw so you're seeing me throw these for the first time takes a lot of takes a lot of force to get these to go into those two by sixes. Like these the the throwing tomahawks hey so it's gonna take me a lot of a lot of practice to get comfortable with this it's, it's, it's almost like the the tapers not enough to get them to stick into both surfaces but there again I've not thrown something this heavy I'm still kind of new to this but I, I like the, the feel, and I'm hitting point on. It's just not penetrating, or if it does penetrate, it bounces right out. All right, let's move on to the next ones. <laughs> if throwing axes and knives are not enough fun for you, well, we need to open another box. This is from the Purple Bird Mall. Let's take a look. This is going to fit into the Chopping Things edition of Friday's Finds quite nicely. This will be a great gift. <laughs> I'll check that out. Oh, very, very nice. Oh, look at that. That's bona fide real leather right there really like that design. Oh, and look at that. And, and the, it actually came with a couple more wedges, circular wedges. Out of, out of the box, it's, it's pretty sharp. Nicely balanced. It'd be nice if there was like a, a belt loop there, but let's, let's get some, let's get something to chop on. How about, no, let's don't do that. next question I have the next question can we throw it 
what good is an axe, a hatchet, if you can't throw it? That throws pretty good. That's a heck of a deal right there. I like that hatchet. Purple bird. That's a nice blade right there. All right, let's move on to the next one. So our next item. The weather's changed. So tomorrow, we're going the next three days, we're probably not gonna leave the house. For us, it's going to be Actually, for everybody, it's going to be really, really cold. We're talking 10 to 15 degrees. So we'll be spending a lot of time in, inside and cooking. Yep, he's really excited about this. This is from, who is this from? This is from JM Kitchen. JM Kitchen has sent us a battery powered. A battery powered hand mixer. How cool is it? That's so RV friendly. Let's open this box and take a look. With the instruction manual, very nicely packaged. We've got a couple beaters, two whisks. Two beaters, beating and a whisking. And then we have a stand, a base. That's the charger. We have a cord, and then we have. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> We know it's charged. Now we can spend some time in the kitchen beating stuff. I'm gonna have to get Yappy involved in demonstrating this. So let's go ask. Dude, what's this? She's agreed to do some stuff with the blender. Let's go. Tell me about this blender. Look at this cool tool kitchen in the box. It's a hand mixer. And what's really cool, it it it's charged by USB. Well, it's not USB, but well, it's battery, it, operated. battery operated is what we're saying. It has the charging station. It's cordless. This is so cool, dude. And it has two different types of paddles. So it's got the one like, I'm gonna test an egg out with us. And then I've got the other ones for denser, like flowers, um, other things that you're gonna mix that are more denser, not the like meringues and things. This is awesome. This is great for portability, storage. This will be awesome in the RV. This, if you have small spaces, it's it's just little. Look at this. It's great. All right, let's test it out, shall we? What? Let's, let's see if we can get some rain going. Better look. This is working great. takes a while, but this is blending fabulous. I don't, I don't, this is a win. I mean, I, I don't know about you dude, but 
This is getting, you can tell it's getting everything. I, I don't have enough batter in here, but it's mixing it. I mean, look at it. Look at that. It's like, you can make a cake, and I mean, this battery's holding up. Look at it. I'm, I'm impressed. This is one of the most... It looks like a hollandaise sauce is what that looks like. Yeah, it's just flour though in an egg. But I have to say, this is this is great. I'm truly excited because we needed one for the motorhome and this is gonna take care of it. I, I This is a win. I'm, I'm very pleased with this. It's the kitchen in the box hand mixer. Cool. Thumbs Thank up. Thank you, Gabby. You can go back to work now. Okay. She gotta go back to work. Now that Yappy's done her part, I've been experimenting with carnivore bread recipes. So I'm gonna use the uh, I'm gonna use this little blender to whip up a batch. We'll see how it turns out. cool that is. It is hard to believe that that's 
pork rinds. <laughs> no flour. Well, that brings us to the end of the Throwing Things edition of Friday's Finds. Knives and axes and a blender at the end. She really, Yappy really likes that battery operated hand mixer. And that'll work out great in the RV as well. She was talking about taking the big stand mixer. We don't have room for that, but we have room for the battery operated one. If you enjoyed seeing me throwing around sharp objects, please click on that thumbs up, share it on social media. Hey, watch Crazy Dude RV throwing sharp objects. It would really help with the YouTube algorithm. All of these products are available on Amazon. And as usual, I'll put you a link up there in the cards and down there in the descriptions. So if you look down, you'll see descriptions. You'll see the little more button. You have to click that more button to open up to see all the stuff that we as creators put down there. They've kind of hidden it. They're making it very challenging. All of these, uh, of, uh, all of these items, as I said, can be found on Amazon. The link that I will provide in the card and in the description, that link will take you to the Friday's Finds a Shopping List on the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. I know those vendors would, would really appreciate you stopping by and saying hello. If you've not already, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps, helps more than you know. Click that bell as well. That way you'll never miss another edition of the Tr Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. I'm most grateful. I sure appreciate you. And for our patrons, we are so grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?